Say you're working with a Git repository in VS Code, and you perform an operation that causes a merge conflict. So just in the source control view here, I'm going to perform a git pull operation. And you can see VS Code is notifying us that there are merge conflicts, and we have to resolve these before committing. So over in the source control view, VS Code is highlighting that there's this one file that has merge conflicts in it, um, and then all these other files are OK. We'll just close this for a second here. And within this file itself, VS Code is also showing the merge conflict. And it's highlighting both the original content and then the changed content or the incoming content and providing this nice code lens that lets us interact with the merge conflict as well. So what is going on here is that the green content, so this green highlighted area, that is the original content. So that was what I had before on disk. This blue content um, below that, that is the incoming changes. So those are what we just pulled in, and it is highlighting those two. And then right above this merge conflict are ways for us to interact with this change. So let's say that we wanted to keep our local changes. We would say accept current change. And now VS Code has just accepted the current changes. And you can see that there is a compile error, so we'd have to fix up something there. We can also accept the incoming changes instead. So now we'd also have to fix something with the compile error, but that instead accepted the changes that we were pulling in. Or we could accept both changes and maybe fix up the, um, the conflicts here ourselves manually. If we want a different view of the changes, we can also click on Compare Changes here. And now VS Code will open these changes in the standard diff view. So this is showing the difference between our current changes and the incoming changes, just in terms of text changes there. Let's go and resolve this change real quick here. So I'm going to accept my current changes and then go and fix the error and save this file and then open up the source control view again here. And once I'm in here, I'm just going to mark this file as resolved properly and commit it. Merge conflicts are no fun, so having a visual way to work with them is kind of nice. 